All right, we're mid-battle with some compies at the minute. We've just got ambushed, so hopefully we can get these guys sorted out pronto. Oh, don't go in the water. That's it. Just keep him there. That's it. Good work, Raptors. Good work. Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Stevie and welcome back to more Ark Survival Evolved here on the Brutal Evolved server. So the plan for today then guys is I'm going to show you what I've been doing in and around the base. As you can see, I have extended the base out one foundation. Uh, last episode we had it flush against these little side extensions and it just sort of went straight across. I did a little bit of rebuilding. I did take it all down and rebuild the whole base. And yeah, I did bring out one more foundation. I do like it. Uh, if we just go into sort of like uh, K mode, I'll just give you guys a bit of a view of it. So it's kind of like, it is a little bit boxy at the moment, but you know, it's got potential. It has got potential. Uh, so we're going to do a little bit more building um, at the start of this episode. And then what we're going to do is uh, venture out what we were going to do last episode. And that is look for a trike, because I really do need them berries. Really, really do. What we got going on down this way? We got a Dillo. What's that? Is that a 150 Dillo? We could probably go tame him. Uh, can't see any trikes down there, though. Oh, we got another Dilo 850, level 1000 turtle. I'm not seeing any trikes over that way. Not yet, anyway. We could take a look over that way a little bit later on. Um, so, yeah, I thought we could do a little bit of building, guys, just to begin. Let's show you inside uh, what I've been doing. So, I managed to get this section how I wanted it. The only problem I've got is I've got these gaps here. Uh, but we can put pillars in them at a later date to sort of cover them up. They're not going to cause me any issues at all. But I finally managed to get the triangle pieces to snap in how I wanted them. So it opens up these little side extensions a lot. And as you can see on this side, it looks quite nice. We've got our upgrade station nicely fitted into this little alcove. And then we've got four storage boxes to go along with it. I haven't really put anything else down because I wanted to do that with you guys. Put this little door here. We did have a door slap bang in the middle, but I've got a plan for this section. Uh, but this door literally just goes out to the back here. So we can just run down, grab some water, and then run back up with no problem at all. So it's just like a little rear entrance, nothing too fancy. Uh, so the idea that I've got is it's high enough that we're able to have a second floor. Uh, that's why there's no windows on this side. I've got a plan for some stairs to go up here, up to this bit, and then above the sort of there, right in the center, we can have ceilings going across and then we can have like a second floor, which would be like bedroom area. So I think that's going to be pretty cool. So we can get right into that, I think. Um, firstly, though, I, I just found a blueprint for a medium crop plot in a blue loot drop. Uh, not the best, but, you know, not the worst. It saves us learning it. But, you know, as we level up, we learn it anyway. Uh, there was one thing I did want to make, and I'm pretty sure that I can make them now. Parachutes. Uh, so obviously we want to use the reusable ones. So let's go ahead and pull our resources for one of them. So we should get two. If it's something like the spears, we should get two parachutes right now. We just got one. So let's make another one. I always like to have two just in case because sometimes they sort of glitch out. And then when you fall down and press the other one, it doesn't like sometimes it doesn't work. I mean, it might work now, but before it's never worked and I've tried to do it like that. So it's always best to have two. Um, so I've got some stuff in here. I'm thinking that we should uh, have a look at this porch area, I think. Um, let's grab some railings. Let's grab some triangles. And let's grab a couple of ramps. Let's just grab them five. Uh, yeah, we'll put everything else down in a second. Uh, so obviously we've just got this drop off. Uh, I've got an idea to sort of break it up. Uh, like break the like boxing this up a little bit. Oh, we've got a level actually. Let's uh, what, what level? So we're going to be level thirty-five. So now we're able to get purple drops, which is uh, pretty good. So I think I'm going to pump a little bit more movement speed. So that's going to take us to Jesus. Look at all this. What is this? 
Engram 5cc narcotic. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? It's uh, that is increases your health but puts you to sleep very quick due to its five times potency. Can only be crafted at a narcotics table. Right, okay. Keeps you awake but dehydrates you. Less deadly rare flowers. Oh, and we need the 5cc narcotic anyway. Doesn't matter. Um, so what does that put us to? 118 movement speed. That's not too bad. That's that's all right. It's a lot faster than what we were a couple of episodes ago. All uh, right, so let's have a look at this porch area then. So uh, triangles. Yeah, I'm thinking of breaking it up a little bit. Uh, so sort of just adding like a rounded off porch area, I think, just to start off with. Um... So hopefully it will work out all right. Yeah, it should do. Yeah, nice. Oh, we had exactly nine as well. Uh, okay, let's get these railings and then let's get a couple of these uh, ramps. So I think because of how the triangles go, uh, yeah, we're going to have to have like a double sort of stairway uh, going up to the base, which isn't a problem. Uh, we can sort of fix it all later. What I mean is like put a foundation underground so we can put like, a little triangle thing going down there. So it just hides the sort of gap a little bit. Um, all right, so let's get these railings in. Uh, so obviously we could sort of like put decoration in here really or torches or, you know, something like that. Not really going to utilize this space because obviously we can put everything that we need inside the base. It just keeps it a little bit more secure as well. But our gates are still up. I did lose... Um, let's just go down there very, very quickly. I did lose a tor two torches. I did have an angry trike attacking my spike wall. So I had to replace all of them. Um, yeah, I lost two torches. Yeah, that one. yeah, the two on this side, they've gone. <laughs> but the spike walls now go up over the top. And I've just added on a little bit more at the top there. So, should be alright. Shouldn't Nothing really should attack it. I think the trike just got caught on it. And then it just started uh, getting quite pissed off with it, to be honest. Um, alright, so let's get back to the base. And uh, we'll carry on uh, building. It's getting it's starting to get a bit dark. I think what time is it? Half five. It'll start getting dark very, very soon. Alright, so, uh, railings. Let's put one there. And then let's put... Well, we missed one. Let's put one there. I think I had a couple of torches that we can put out front of the base. Uh, yes, I do. And if you're wondering why I've got an, a Rex Bone Helmet skin, it was actually a gift from Vifri. He killed an Alpha Raptor that was over on the beach area over there by our old base. Uh, he killed it, and as I logged on, I sort of like ran past him. Uh, so he dropped that off for me. So we've got an awesome Rex uh, Bone Helmet skin that we could put on our character. Which I think would look really cool. Or we could put it on our Jaboa. I think that would be pretty cool if we put it on our Jaboa, actually. Um, yeah, so these torches. I think... Uh, do we want them on the ground or do we want them on the top of the decking? I think if we put them on the top of the decking... Let's, think, let's put one there. So let's uh, change all the settings and everything. Let's uh, not make it too intense. Let's put it on number one. Can we turn it on? There we go. And then we'll put the other one here, I think, matching on the same side. So I think it was about there, weren't it? Uh, we'll change the settings again. And then we'll just light her up. There we go, nice. So we can see our base. So yeah, that's looking nice already. That is looking good already. Um, Alright, so yeah, the second floor. So we need to try and work with uh, some stairs. Uh, so let's grab some more stuff out. Um, have I got any S plus of them? Aha! Right, so let's grab one of them. Uh, let's grab a couple of walls, a couple of ramps, and then some ceilings. Alright, cool. Um, so, if we place that, uh, hmm, I'm thinking, would it go that way? So the light wood's facing out. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. And then let's try this to go the same way. Is that flush with that? Yeah, I think it is. Give or take. Not bad at all. 
not bad at all. Right, so uh, can we place a ramp straight away? No. <laughs> all right, so I think we're going to need another wall there. Uh, so let's put... I'm thinking maybe we could put this as a door and then another door. We could get out to the back or put a little extension on the back. Because we've got this uh, area right here. But then we've also got the area over there as well. By, you know, just behind the raptors. Got this area here that we could use. Hmm. All right, let's concentrate on what we're doing for now. Uh, getting a bit getting a bit ahead of myself here, I think. All right, so let's get this wall in then. So uh, if we're going to have a potential doorway there, we're going to want the wood facing the light wood on the inside. So, yeah, that would be right there. So let's go ahead and put a ramp on. Nice. It doesn't really block this area. Okay, cool. Um... So, where's our ceilings? There we go. Alright, so let's put a ceiling in. Really need it to be going the way the wood's going. Uh, so, that way. Yep, nice. And then, can we put another ramp in there? No, it doesn't look like it. So, I want it to go the other way, really. Hmm. Right, that goes. Yeah, that goes the right way. So maybe we could build off of this. Yeah, that looks alright, doesn't it? Yeah, that's going the right way. Alright, let's. Uh... Aha, right, okay, so we've got two snap points there. So I need that snap point. Because I think it's trying to snap onto that uh, slope triangle as well. Because I don't... I, they're not supposed to be there. <laughs> really. Uh, right, that snapped into the right one. Alright, so we can't put a ceiling there because of the ramp. So the ceiling would have to go there. And then can we get these ones in as well? Yeah, nice. Okay, cool. Um... So now we should be able to put the ramp... Yeah, there you go. Snaps right in. Nice. Okay, so I'm not interested in this whole area. Uh, because later on, you know, we could extend our base that way. We can extend it that way. So I want to put, like, a room at the top. But, like, you know, probably one more wall higher. But not today. Not today. So what I've got in mind is... Uh, if we grab some more walls... Should I? Yeah, we've got 13. We've got plenty. Let's put them back. We don't need that extra ramp. In fact, let's try this uh, bone helmet on our Jaboa. Let's see what it looks like. Uh, let's chuck him down. Come here, little dude. Still need a name for this guy. Still need a name. Got three levels on him. Let's, uh, let's just go melee damage. Why not? Uh, costume. Oh, okay. So we need a hat for him, don't we? So let's make... A little hat for him uh, just very very quickly uh, yeah because that has to go on to that's his skin isn't it so have we got a level or was that the Jaboa okay we got another level Wow okay nice uh, right, let's put that in there let's put that on and then oh, let's go to our Jaboa yes oh my god look at that look at that that looks awesome <gasps> he looks so cool oh my god no one going to mess with my Jaboa. No one going to mess with my Jaboa. <laughs> Alright, let's... Um, right, walls, walls, walls. Yes, yeah, so what I'm thinking is if we put like walls here. But they're going to snap too high, I think. So we would have to put in false walls down here, I think. To get them to snap in the right place. So let's get rid of this very, very quickly. Just so we can put a wall there. Oh, we need to get up, don't we, really? Uh, yeah, that snapped in the right place. All right, cool. Um, and then can we get another one in? Sweet. So now there should be two snap points for these walls. See, look, there's a high one and a low one. So we want the low one. So obviously it snaps to the high one.
Nope. <laughs> oh, this is always the way, isn't it? Uh, so let's play. Are we gonna? Right, let's go for the low one. And did it go for the low one? I think it did. I'm not 100 percent sure. In fact, I think it went for the high one. Okay, let's uh, let's try this again. So we want that one. I oh, know that is the lower one. All right, cool. Never mind. Uh, so let's try and get this one in then. Uh, so we need it on the low snap point there. Nice, we got that. Okay. Uh, so you can see what I'm trying to get out here. We're just trying to make a smaller room because we don't really want to utilize this. If we put beds under there and then spawn back in our bed, we're going to glitch through the uh, ceiling. So don't particularly want to uh, do that. So, oh my god, thirsty. All right, let's grab. Uh, yeah, they shouldn't fall down now. There's the low one. So obviously it goes for the high one. <laughs> I mean, what we probably could do is uh, probably take out this and that. Probably would make our life a little bit easier, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah, there we go. So they're just going to snap onto them now. Like that. Uh, let's get these ceilings back. See, the only problem is... Oh, no, we can put them ceilings in below. It's fine. All right, so we're just going to put in the last three ceilings. And then that should finish off the stairs. And then we can just sort of... Uh, oh, yeah, we've got to put that back, haven't we? Uh, what is that one? So... There. Is that right? Yeah. Nice. Um, let's get some railings. So we can rail it off. Um, let's put these walls back. And obviously we can turn these to stairs. Nice. Nice. All right, cool. Uh, so yeah, we've got this nice little 2 by 2 room. Uh, it's literally going to be the bedroom where I spawn back in. If and when we die, it is going to happen. Right, I need to cover that bit up as well. Let's get a rail in there. And then let's get a rail in there. That don't look too bad. That don't look too bad at all. Have I got my torch? Because it's going to get a little bit dark in a second. Let's put that there. All right, cool. Um, yeah, I need to get rid of that bit. So I need another triangle piece. So if we put the other ceiling there. It doesn't really matter which way it's facing because we're going to take it out in a second. And then let's... Put that there. So we've got the wood facing out. And we should be able to remove that without breaking that one. Yay, there we go. Nice. Nice. So we've got a view that side of the bay, Viking uh, Bay. And this side, unfortunately, we've got a rock. But we've got a little view of our little pond down there, which is pretty cool. Nice. So let's get uh, some stuff in. Um, should have got our beds. Right, let's get all of this stuff in back in here so we're not going to use any of that um, got our gravestone and uh, what else we got a couple of storage boxes that we can put upstairs as well let's get everything out because we're gonna have to put it all down anyway um, I've got two railings I've got an idea for some railings uh, so let's go ahead and put the campfire down we'll put the campfire down here in the corner like so and then we'll get a mortar and pestle and we'll put that here like that, and then I want the meat spoiler, sort of like this little mini crafty cookie area, cooking area, sorry. Uh, just sort of keeps everything all in one spot, really. So let's put that up as far to the wall as we can. So about there, nice. So we've got cooker, meat spoiler, and our little mortar and pestle. Let's get our torch out, it's getting a bit dark. There we go. All right, um. Right, let's go upstairs very, very quickly. Uh, what I'm going to do, though, is obviously wait for the night to pass. Then we can go out and look for a, a trike. I was going to say a raptor. I mean, we could come across another raptor. I mean, who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? Um, all right, so the beds. Let's. Uh, we'll put one bed slap bang in the middle, I think. A little bit. I'll have, like, one there. Press G again to disable snapping. Just makes it look like one big bed then. So that looks pretty cool. Uh, storage boxes I think we could probably put in the corners. Let's just go ahead and put one there. 
and then one there. We could probably put some stuff in here so it's just easier to grab when, like, if we die, respawning. Grab our stuff very, very quickly, and then uh, we can just carry on. Are they, they look about the same, I think. Oh, that one's got a bit more of a gap. <laughs> oh, OCD, I love you. Um, Alright, it's so about there, say. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, that looks a bit better, doesn't it? That looks better. And then what I'm thinking is we put our gravestone at the back here. So let's just butt that up against the wall between these two sort of uh, struts in the wood. There we go. Nice. So let's uh, rename it. Um, we're going to obviously call it Stevie Shit. That's our stuff for when we die. There we go. Nice. So that's a little bed. I took a dump on my bedroom. Took a dump. Small animal feces. What are you doing, Jaboa? Taking a dump. Oh, is, that a, is there a blue drop out there? Oh, there's a blue drop. Let's go get that blue drop. Alright, let's see what we got. See if we got anything good. Hopefully. Hopefully. A blueprint for a metal door frame. <laughs> oh, we'll take it. We'll take it. It doesn't really matter about blueprints, really, because... Uh, like I said earlier, once you level up, you learn them all anyway. Um, so yeah, the base isn't looking too bad now. It is looking good now we've got a second floor in, definitely. And it doesn't really take away a lot of space. We've still got room up here to put some more stuff in. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so I've got two railings left. I've got an idea of what I want to do with them. So let's, um, let's chuck... Hmm. Oh, actually... That doesn't look too bad. Separates the chests from the upgrade station. That doesn't look too bad at all, man. Let's uh, chuck this in there. There you go. Yeah, that's not too bad at all. So we could do the same on the other side. So I'm thinking on this side. On this side, we could probably put like our smithy. And then we could probably put a couple of uh, forges here. I do need a forge, actually. Uh, let's see if we can make a forge. I do need one. Um, obviously, we want the S plus one. So let's see if we can go ahead and make one. We can. Nice. That's going to be able to smelt our metal up, obviously, which uh, I've got quite a bit of. I just don't have any metal ingots as of yet. So that's something we really do need. I mean, we could probably put that here for now in the corner. Or we could probably put it outside. Unless we do want to utilise this area. I think, I think we'll put it in the corner for now. Let's just go ahead. Chuck that down there like that. Beautiful. Uh, so, should have some metal. Raw metal. Um, yeah, I got 3,327. I did a bit of grinding last night. I've got quite a lot of metal nodes in and around the area. So, I think what we're going to do is probably not pull all of it. Let's pull 3,000. Uh, that's going to give us 1,500 uh, metal ingots. Uh, we do need some wood as well. How much wood are we looking at? All right, let's take 771. And that should be enough. So we'll get that going. We'll get that smelting up. Um, so, yeah, I think what I'm going to do then, guys, is... Because we don't have anything that we can learn... Uh, we don't have anything that we can make a smithy with... So we need 20 hide, 5 metal ingots, 50 stone and 30 wood. I could have sworn that we needed spark powder to make this. And oil. I really thought we needed oil and spark powder. So we probably could make our smithy as well in a few seconds. Um, let's see how this is doing. Should have... Oh, we've got 17 already. So let's take 5. Let's... Uh, Smithy, so we want S plus Smithy. Nice, cool. So we got Smithy as well. This episode, brilliant. I'm happy with that. I am happy with that. So now we can put that in here. Um, let's we put it on this side. We probably could put it this side and then turn it round. Because then we've got like the anvil sticking on the other side. Unless we just have it sort of like squaring like that. 
yeah, I think we'll probably have it squaring like that for now. So let's get it all lined up. Uh, looks pretty good. Let's get that in there. See, what I like about the S Plus one is you can buy it up close against the wall. Pretty sure the vanilla one, you have to have quite a big gap between the, like the wall and the uh, actual uh, crafting station itself. Oh, there we go. So our smithy's in. Nice. So that means we can get into metal tools. Although we did get a few metal tools from them crates that are over near the blue obelisk area. Uh, so we probably don't need as many as I thought. Um, what else do we need? Yes, the S Plus crafting table. That's the one that we were looking at last episode, which I needed. Can we go ahead and make one of them as well? Nice. What's that little thing? Villager crafting table. We don't need that. We can start getting into the Eco's decor. Oh, Eco's terrariums. No way. I didn't even know that we had that on the server. That's awesome. Um, so I'm thinking we should probably put this... We'll put this over this side for now. Let's place that there. Awesome. So now obviously it's going to be a lot easier just to craft S plus items rather than going into our uh, crafting inventory and trying to find the right item. So that is pretty good going. All right, guys. So that's the sort of build of the base done for now. Not really too much more I can do with it. We could probably put a couple more torches around the place just to brighten it up a bit uh, but for now I'm quite happy with it I'm really happy with how these little alcoves have turned out really happy with how they've turned out so we're really getting progress made now uh, we're really making progress now god that's really fucking good English isn't it uh, we've got the forge smithy crafting station we've got all the metal cooking up now which is amazing so we can start upgrading metal tools and all that kind of good stuff but yeah, guys, I think I'm going to wait for the night to pass. What time is it? It's half one. And then we'll venture out on the raptors. And we'll go and find ourselves, hopefully, a level 300 trike. That would be pretty cool. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in the morning. I've just had a thought. While we're waiting for the night time to pass, which it almost has, let's see if we can upgrade some of our armor and our weapons uh, before we head out and look for that trike. Uh, so let's see if we can upgrade these bows to Mastercraft level. Uh, what are we going to need? So we're going to need wood and fiber. 1,292. Uh, I don't think I've got that much fiber actually. Uh, oh, okay. We can. And what was it? Wood. Can we take that? We can. Nice. All right. Let's... Uh, Let's chuck that in there. So let's attempt an upgrade. Nice. Uh, so we've got 1,256. Can we do that one? Ah, oh, we need 36 more fibre. All right, okay, so we've got one, which is cool. And it automatically repairs it as well, which is nice. So let's put the tranks onto the Mastercraft one and then the normal arrows onto that one. See if we can upgrade this. Uh, attempt upgrade. So we need some flint and some thatch. So let's uh, get some flint. Uh, so we've got quite a lot. Let's just bring it all over. I can always transfer it back. It's not a problem. Uh, let's get some thatch here. Yeah, we've got tons of it. Cool. So let's attempt the upgrade. So there we go. We've got Mastercraft, one of them. Uh, let's upgrade our torch, actually. It will last a lot longer. Uh, what do we need? Stone. <laughs> all right, let's get some stone. Uh, I didn't know you could upgrade the torch, actually. Um, I did see it in Timmy's video that you can upgrade the torch. So let's upgrade it. Uh, let's uh, go again. I think if we get it high enough, if, I think Journeyman will be all right. It just lasts, like, you know, a bit longer, really. Uh, what else can we upgrade? Aha, our armor. Let's try and get this. We need to get into hide. Haven't found any hide in any loot drops as of yet. I'm still looking. Uh, but, you know, it, it would just save us on crafting it, really. And then we could use the materials that we were going to make it with to upgrade it. So let's see if we can upgrade our cloth hat. Uh, nice. <laughs> let's upgrade that. Right, so we need some more hide. 
No problem at all. Should have. Yeah, we got. We got hired for days. Uh, upgrade. You failed to upgrade this item. Why? There we go. Let's upgrade them. Ah, we need more fiber. So I guess that's going to be the same for all of that. Yeah. All right. So we got Mastercraft uh, gloves and a hat, which is pretty cool. We can keep them. Let's see if we can make any of these appetizers, actually, because obviously taming a herbivore, that's going to take a while. So let's see what we need for app. We don't. We can't make any of them because we've got no mushrooms. But we can probably try and make a couple of these. It's uh. We've got one, two. All right, so we can only make two, I think. Oh no, we've got another one. It's going to help us out anyway. Oh, we can keep going. Where are we getting the berries from then? <laughs> Let's see if we can make ten. We can make ten. That'll be amazing. Not enough resources. All right, can we make five? Five more? No, damn. <laughs> Alright, looks like, uh, let's just go keep making ones then. Oh, no, that's it then. Oh, we've got some more berries there. What's it saying? Stim berries. Ah, oh, we've only got four stim berries. That's probably why. We've got four. Four will do. Uh, we can also get some more mayhose as well. Unless this guy's got any mayhose on him. What have you got on you, mate? Uh, you got 117 mayhose. Yeah, you should have enough. Let's grab them. Let's grab them. Uh, and I think there was some more mayhose in here as well. Yeah, let's grab them. And we'll grab them as well. So we've got quite a few berries. Uh, do we have any narcotic? I don't think we do. We might have to uh, try and make some of that. I do need some more arrows. Just for the journey. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to get all this done, guys. And then we'll head out and hopefully find ourselves, you know, hopefully a level 300 trike. If we can't find a 300, we'll settle for 250. Because uh, they do go up in increments of 50. Can we make 100 of them? Nice. All right. So yeah, I'm going to craft all this up. We're going to make some narcotic as well, hopefully. If I, I might have some, I'll have a look in a sec. But yeah, we'll go out and look for a trike in a few seconds then, guys. So we're going to need some stone pillars as well to trap the trike in, otherwise we're just going to get annihilated by him. Uh, so we can now craft the S plus stuff in our new crafting station. So we should have learned the stone tier already. Yeah, we have. Nice. So let's get the medium pillars. So we're going to need about nine, I think. Let's make ten just to be on the safe side. Uh, can we make ten? We can make ten. Nice. All right, let's uh, craft all of them up. So while everything's crafting up then guys, <laughs> I'm not going to leave you here while everything is crafting up because it's just a bit of a ball ache. Um, yeah, we'll head out in a few seconds. Alright, all the arrows finally crafted up. I did craft up another 100 stone arrows. We've got the pillars. I think we've got everything that we need. Uh, let's just double check before we head out. Pillars, narcotic, appetizers, trank arrows parachutes we've upgraded our weapons all right let's uh put this in so what does that take us to that should take us to 100 119.5 i think one more into speed just to round it off and i think we'll be golden um all right let's uh head out so we're gonna take this guy hopefully he can carry us yeah he should be able to and then we'll get that one to follow us as well. So let's head out then. Um, I'll have a quick scout over this side just to sort of see if we can see any trikes. Uh, there was a turtle down there. Level 1400 turtle. No, thank you. Uh, some more dillos. Oh, what's that? 500, 500 trike. Can't tame that one. Alright, so let's. Um, Let's head down the beach a little bit. Let's sort of see what we got. We've just dropped down here, I think. Uh, yeah. All right. Let's head down the beach a little bit. See what we can find. All right. We're mid battle with some compies at the minute. We've just got ambushed. 
So hopefully we can get these guys sorted out pronto. Oh, don't go in the water. I see it. Just keep him there. That's it. Good work, Raptors. Good work. All right, so I found a couple of 500 trikes. Nothing too spectacular. What is everyone running away from? Oh, there's a couple of dillos, that's why. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, hopefully we can just bypass these dillos. You still on me, Raptor? Yeah, you're still good. Nice. So that's a level 500 trike. Can't tame that one. So let's go a little bit further down. Yeah, I was just sort of running around and I heard my raptor going a bit ape shit at the back and uh, he's been attacked. So we come to his rescue. Not too bad. Um, now I don't know. I think with Timmy's mod or something that Timmy's done, dinos at a certain level periodically change. So say there's like quite a few 450 trikes on the map or something, they would change to 300s. But I'm not too sure like how it works, not really sort of read into it too much. But I think that's how it works. <laughs> I may be completely wrong. Uh, Alright, let's uh, go this way. There might be something down this way. There's a trike. I'll level to you, my friend. You are a 150. No good. You are no good to me. Hopefully nothing comes running off the cliff. Uh, okay, let's carry on a little bit further. In fact, while I think about it, while we're heading up this way, uh, sometimes raptors spawn up on the cliffside just up there. We might strike it lucky and find another level 300 that would be really nice because obviously we've only got one level 300 which is the one I'm riding and that guy behind us was only a level 200 so let's have a look see what we got up here uh, can't see anything yet uh, got Dimorph up there 950 Ovi Raptor not seeing anything yet. Let's go a little bit further on. Uh, not seeing no trikes either. It's kind of like barren land for trikes, this is. <laughs> it's like nothing. Uh, we've got nothing down there. Just dodo. Hmm. So again, I'm not seeing no... Oh. Hyena done. Oh, we don't want to go up there then. It might attack us. No, it doesn't look like I could see any raptors up there. Just that dimorph and a hyena done. Hmm. Alright then, so let's head back over towards our base area. And I think we will go more towards the blue obelisk. Yeah, we'll go around that way. We'll see if there's any trikes up that way. There's normally a bunch of trikes up that way. It's all sort of like jungle area. So trikes do tend to spawn over that way. So we might strike it lucky. Obviously we've got to try and get back over there yet. Yeah? <laughs> Which is a challenge on its own. Don't aggro on that compi. Come on. You do not want to get into a fight with a pack of compies. Because it's not good. It's not good. We should be fast enough to outrun them little fuckers anyway. Yeah. Good job Raptor. Good job. So we've got a couple of raptors up on the hill up there. They're only level 200 and I can only see two. Uh, I'm not going to worry about them too much unless there's a third one somewhere. They normally hang around in threes, fours. I'm not seeing another one. So there is only two over there. There they are. They're nice colours but they're not 300s are they? Definitely not 300s. What level are you? 1450. So yeah, I just thought I'd show you that guys. That uh, yeah, a couple of 200s, nothing spectacular. So hopefully they don't jump down. Although they are only level 200, we'll be able to take them on, no problem at all. Um, there might be a trike up on the ledge up here, but it is risky. It is risky. There's micro raptors, scorpions, rexes. I don't want to get caught in all that. Look at the texture over there. What is that? <laughs> Lego blocks. 
Oh, there we go. It's rendered in. Uh, do we go up this way a bit? To try... How many are you? 150. Let's go up this way a tiny bit. Just to sort of see if there's anything up here. Got to be careful for terabytes, obviously. Mm. Doesn't look like... There's only trikes up there. Jesus, I thought that was an RG. Thought that was an RG. Alright then guys, so I'm going to continue on. Uh, like I said, we're going to head more towards the blue obelisk area. So, I'll meet you guys when I'm over there. Unless I find anything. Unless I find anything or any action happens. I'll bring you guys back. Oh, trike, trike. Oh, 250 trike. That might not be too bad. That might be alright. Let's uh, have another cheeky little look around. So we definitely got a 250 trike somewhere. That's a 900. There's the uh, 250. 2000 health. Alright, we'll carry on. There might be a level 300 around here. You just don't know it. You just don't know it until you look. You see, what did I tell you guys? Persistence pays off. Look at that, level 300, 4,500 health. Perfect. There's another one over there. That's a level 900. So, really, we need to try and kite this guy away. Uh, whoa, shit. <laughs> Look at the state of that. Level 450. Oh, man. I mean, we could probably kite it up on this hill, really. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. If we set up our traps. So if you stay there. Um, yeah, I think if we set up a trap up here. I think that would be ideal. Um, to grab that trike. So it should be out the way as well. It shouldn't aggro on everything either. Let's go ahead Put a pillar there, one there, and one there. So, should be wide enough for it to get inside. And because it's made of stone, it's not going to damage it. So, how many have we got there? Three. One, two. And we've got one for the middle, so it's quite a big pen. Uh, you can come over here. You can come and stay behind. Here, what are you on? Attacking target, right? Let's put everyone on to passive. So you should be on passive too. Yeah. Let's get you behind here too. Right, is that the 300 there? Right in our field of view. Yeah, but the other one is right next to it. So I'm hoping that if we hit this guy, that one doesn't get aggroed, and then he can come in this trap. Let's have a go. There we go. So we've got the first hit in. That guy is not pissed off. Obviously this guy is. Where did he go? Come on, mate. That's it. That's it. Come round this way then, my friend. Up into this. Oh, nice, he's in. Cool, right, let's get the other pillar in. Just there. Sweet, nice. Let's just uh, knock this guy out then. Awesome, so hopefully, hopefully with uh, the appetizers as well, it's uh, not going to take too long to tame this guy. And obviously we can keep checking the torpor as well. Um, so he's got 4,700 torpor. We've only done... About a thousand so far, so a few more arrows to go, and then it should be knocked out. Oh, look at that, so close. So, one more arrow, and he's down. One more arrow, and then he's ours. There we go. Nice. We've done it, guys. We've done it. Right, I realize that I haven't actually made a trike saddle as of yet. Nothing else is pissed off, though. Level 300, nice. Alright, let's get these on him. And uh, 
and can start to force feed him there and that's going to lower his food at a fast rate as you can see that is dropping nicely torpor should be okay what we should do though i think is quickly head back and make a saddle he should be all right there don't think anything's going to come and attack it all right you can follow me home then raptor um yeah it should be good there all right let's head back home very very quickly and then make a trike saddle and then by the time we come back should be good enough to tame up all right uh let's um yeah let's have a look then so uh trike nice so we need 80 fiber 140 hide 25 wood what oh it's the fiber all right man let's get 80 fiber very very quickly let's just grab these bushes here all right so we got 108 fiber should be enough uh, i don't know i don't need to go into the base to actually make it as long as i'm in a distance to pull the resources there we go nice trike saddle sweet uh so we could probably get rid of these uh i'll wait for that to craft up all right let's get rid of them let's get rid of them let's keep that on us i think yeah i mean we could probably get a few more mayhos uh, in and around that area just so we're able to uh you know get a bit of a better tame we're probably going to lose a shit ton of levels because we're not using crops we're using mayhos uh but he should be starved out more than enough now especially with them appetizers so i'm going to head back to the trike and uh yeah we'll get on with the tame guys all right, the trike is now in render distance. I'm hoping that the torpor hasn't gone down that much. I, it's been a very long time since we tamed a trike. Uh, you know, it's a really early game dino. I should know this, but I really can't remember. So, you should be all right there. Um, nah, torpor's absolutely fine. Don't think it's been hit. Uh, food's gone down loads, so... Let's uh, chuck these berries on and see what we get. Oh my god, 1.3. This is going to take a while. <laughs> oh no, you got to be kidding me. We missed the tame. The trike is awake. It is ours, isn't it? Yeah, level 446. So we only lost three levels off of it because perfect tame from 300 would have been 449. That is not bad at all. That is not bad at all. Let's get our demo gun out. Uh, I've got some more berries for him and everything. Uh, where is our demo gun? There it is. Let's get this guy out. Let's pick up these uh, pillars. Let's, um, let's get the saddle on this guy. Uh, trike saddle. There you go. So he tamed out with over 5,500 health. 1185 stamina. Melee went up by 188. I think, I think it was at 300. And then weight went up to 1372. Nice. So let's get the rest of these berries on you. Uh, you can carry all of that for me. Let's get rid of that, that, and that. And then keep the stim berries. Nice. I think we should be alright for weight. I mean, now we've got the trike. He can uh, carry all these pillars. Because he's got the weight, definitely. That's awesome. Oh, I can't believe that. I thought that was going to take a lot longer than that. So, we definitely got it, though. Beautiful. Uh, I'll keep... We'll put the pillars on him. All right, then. Let's, uh, let's get these guys following. Let's take this guy back home. What level are these dillos down here? Because I don't want to get involved with them. 900 and a 200. All right. I reckon we could uh, take them on, I think. Go on, raptors. Go on. Go and get them. Go and get them. That's it. Attack this little fucker and all. We got this. We got this. Come on. They're low level ones. Oh, what? Oh, come on. Do not get blinded. Have you killed one already? No, of course you haven't. Alright, killed one. Nice. Get that one then. I'm still blinded. 
I swear this is going on for longer than it should, unless we've got blinded again. That's it. Go on, corner him in there. That's it. Nice. Good job, guys. Good job. Let's put you back on passive so you don't go running off and attacking everything. Nice. Good work, guys. All right, let's uh, let's get a few levels into this guy then. Wow. Nice. It's going to be so good to get all these berries now. Life is going to be easier to make the appetizer X's. Uh, or the appetizers and the appetizer X once we get into mushrooms. I'd have to head up to the swamp area. Talking of the swamp, in the next couple of episodes, we are going to have to head up that way. Uh, before Timmy moves out fully, he has got us a raptor egg. So that's something we can go up and have a look. We don't have a preserving bin as of yet, so we're not able to uh, store it. So there's no point in getting it just yet, because it will just uh, rot away. Uh, what are we getting? A thousand thatch. Damn. These stupid little pego, uh, not pego, compy, there we go. What? A... Nice, look at all that, and our weight hasn't even been touched. That is amazing. I think because our weight, because of the stack mod, obviously the weight is reduced anyway. Uh, but if we can get speed into this guy, that would be amazing. I'm not planning on breeding him, I'm not planning on taking him out to battle. Literally, just a berry gatherer. Right, so let's have a look. So we've got two levels. Look at all of that. 1,480. Nice. Uh, so let's obviously bump some movement speed into this guy then, because that's what we're going to need. So home is of this away. Uh, so maybe it would be ideal to go round the back. Unless we run into another Dillo. I don't think there's any Raptors around here, so we should be all right. Uh, you never know. You never know. There might be a dialo around here. Let's uh, get some more stuff while we're travelling home. Hey, we've got another level. Sweet. So that was quite lucky. I mean, yeah, we went all the way around the other side. Persistence pays off, like I said. We did finally find a level 300. So we only lost three levels off of it. That's really good going. Really happy with that. Uh, yeah, it doesn't seem to be anything bad up here. Alright, so I'm just putting into base, and check this guy out. An orange Jaboa. That looks so nice. And what is it? Is it a female? What's our little guy? Our guy is a male. Nice. Alright, let's put everything onto passive. Let's bowler this little dude. Holy hell. Come here, mate. I want you. Oh, don't go under my trike. That's it. Go there. Nice. Uh, I'm going to have to punch him because uh, if I use my trank arrows on him, I'll kill him or her. Nice. She's really cool, man. Never seen an orange one. All right. So you got some berries. So give me probably 20 of them. That'd do, I think. 20 should be more than enough. Hey, there we go. Nice. And you're following me too. So we've got a mate in pair of Jaboas. That is awesome. Alright, let's get you all back to base in. Uh, so good job we haven't got far to go. Did have a few compies chasing me. Again. They seem to love me. They seem to love me. Alright, let's get everyone inside. Oh, I see. In you get. Are you guys in? Oh, ah, oh, no. No, where What happened, Jaboa? Come here, Jaboa. Come this way. That's it. Don't get attacked on the spikes, mate. Come on, this way. In you get. That's it. Come on. Good man. Good girl. You in now? Yeah, there you are. Nice. All right, let's get everyone all. Let's get everyone all sorted out then. Let's get everything all sorted out. All right, then, guys, so everybody is now in their places. We've got our awesome new trike. Welcome to the family, buddy. And then we've got our awesome new orange Jaboa as well, which was just uh, off the cuff tame. I just sort of saw it, wanted to bring you guys in, knocked her out, tamed her up. So we've got a mate and pair of Jaboas now, which is absolutely awesome. But, guys, we made out really, really well today. Like I said, level 300 trike, which is now 450. It tamed out at 446. So we only lost three levels, but just going to keep bumping movement speed. Berry gathering is now a thing of the past. 
That is amazing. So it's going to be so much easier. We managed to get the porch area done on our base. We got the upstairs done, which I'm really happy about. And we got things placed down. We got our forge finally. Look at all that metal. I'm going to go on another metal run as well a little bit later on. I'm going to grind up some more. So next episode, we can get into metal tools, which is going to be awesome. So if we go weapons... Uh, melee, there we go, we can get into all the metal tools, we're going to need a sickle uh, I thought trikes got fiber, but they don't uh, I'm pretty sure they used to but I might be wrong, uh, so yeah we are going to need a sickle to get the fiber definitely, uh, and then we can get metal tools, we can upgrade them, all that kind of good stuff hopefully so yeah I think we've done really well, finally got an S plus crafting station, really happy with how this place is uh, turned out it looks really really good so far and there's so much room for improvement we've got areas where we can build up high up low down in that little creek area out the back we've got so many areas like out there that we can build so i've really i've had a lot of fun today we've been on a little bit of adventure we haven't stayed around the base which is nice it's nice to get out and do something and uh we didn't die which is amazing so i think that is going to be it for the episode guys i really hope that you did go on to enjoy if you did guys don't forget to drop a like down below really does show support here on the channel and if you're new and you haven't already do not forget to subscribe so guys until next time really hope you do go on to enjoy the rest of your day and i'll be sure to catch you all on the next video